So now we have this, uh, studied how to add vectors geometrically and how to find the resultant. We can resolve a vector in two rectangular components and the composition of rectangular components. We have also studied how to find vectors analytically. Now, suppose uh, we have found that, we have studied that if a vector A, this can be solved in two components, two rectangular components, a, 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 a straight line from, from and this. These are the two rectangular components of A. We suppose this is B and C, which makes an angle. The only condition is that rectangular components makes an angle of 90 degree with each other. And we have also found how to combine these two. If we, if we know B and C, we can find A by using this formula that A square is equal to B square plus C square. So all these we have already studied. Now, and by this knowledge, this much knowledge, we have find how to add vectors analytically. Now today, suppose we have two vectors and we have found that uh, to suppose we have vector A and this is your x axis, we want to resolve this into rectangular components. One of the components is say along x axis. So this is A, this is Ax, and this will be Ay. If this makes an angle theta, then Ax will be equal to A cos theta and Ay must be equal to A sin theta. Okay. So now suppose we have a vector. A, we suppose, and the direction of A is taken along x axis. This is your vector A, and suppose this is your x axis, and this is the vector, and, and there is another vector B, which has to be added to A. So geometrically we have draw D here from the head of the A and this gives you the vector D. This is the vector. Where vector B makes an angle of say suppose theta with the vector A. Geometrically the resultant will be the straight line from the tail of the A to the head of the B and that will be Of A plus the x component of B. 
So Rx is equal to Ax plus Bx, which is where Ax is equal to A and Bx is B cos theta. And Ry is Ay plus By. Ay is 0 and By is B sin theta. So the the magnitude of the resultant is given by Rx square plus Ry square under root. And this comes about to be A plus B cos theta. whole square plus Ry is B sine sin theta this will be A square plus B square plus 2AB so it is A square B square plus 2AB cos theta plus b square sin square theta. Now this is b square can be taken oh sorry theta is same way. So if you b, b square is taken as common cos square theta plus sin square theta gives you 1 and this gives you as a square plus b square plus 2 a b So this gives you the magnitude of the circuit and the direction will be given by R by tan theta. Uh, suppose uh, a resultant makes an angle alpha with the x-axis. This is the resultant makes an angle alpha say with the x-axis. So tan alpha, which gives you the direction of the resultant vector A. From this we get this is obtained by R y by R x and R y is B sin theta and R x is A plus B cos theta. So alpha is can be obtained by tan inverse of this value. Yes. So this is so we have found out now, <coughs> okay, so there are these things. Now, if this is the vector A and this is the vector B, we know that parallel vectors are same, so we can draw B here of A. The parallel to this can be drawn here also. And A So this forms a parabola. So we can say that if the two vectors forms the adjacent sides of a parabola, then the resultant is given by the diagonal. So this is the resultant. And this is called parabola law. Parabola graph law of addition of vectors. If, if two vectors
from the adjacent sides of a parogram. And the magnitude is given by here it's written. Magnitude of the product is given of the resultant is given by. And we have found that the magnitude is given by a square plus b plus two a b cos theta. And the action is given by tan inverse b sin theta a plus b. This gives you the maximum of the resultant, this gives you the direction of the resultant. Now we have here the magnitudes of the two vectors depends upon the angle which the vectors makes with them with each other theta. To change the variation of theta gives you the resultant, different resultant. So we have found that the resultant magnitude of the resultant is given by the depends upon the angle which the vectors A and B may see each other. So if suppose first case, suppose theta is 0, then the resultant is will be A square plus B square plus 2AB cos 0 and cos 0 is 1. So it is a square b square 2 a b under root which is a plus b whole square under root means a plus b. So the magnitude of the result is simply a plus b. You can verify it by geometrically addition also. Geometrically, if the two vectors makes an angle of 0 degree, which means suppose this is a vector A and another vector B which is makes 0 degree width, which means that is parallel to A and if you add geometrically means you are putting the head uh, tail of the succeeding vector on the tail and tail of the B lies must lie on the head of so this is a uh, B and the total length gives you the magnitudes. But the, the total length is equal to this much, which is a plus b. So this is a. so this is the, the length of the circuit. And the angle. B sin 0 A plus B cos 0 sin 0 is 0 so alpha is 0 and we have found that A is this one B is this the result is also along this 0 along the same direction so <coughs> now if you say that suppose in this next case say theta is 90 degrees Theta is 90 degree. So the certain will be a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos 90. And we know that cos 90 is 0. So this will be 0. So the certain is given by a square plus b square. So vertical this means is and so, so okay. And this is 90 and this is also 90. 
so the angle 90 and cos 90 is 0 sin 90 is 1 so it give you sin 90 is 1 so it will be 1k so uh, geometrically if you draw suppose we have two vectors a and b which making 90 degree with each other so the b lies makes 90 degree with a the resultant is given by the magnitude of the resultant will be given by this which is given by the Pythagoras theorem the a square plus b square under root and the direction of this resultant alpha will be obtained by b by a now next case say it is one at the Thank you.